question number 1. Here we have to find the product of 85 and 95. And these are the options. Let's see which is the correct option. So what we have to find here is 85 multiplied with 95. We can see here that in both these numbers the digit at the units place is 5 and the difference between the two numbers that is the difference between here 95 and 85 is 10. So when such is the case that is when the digit at the units place is 5 and the difference between the two numbers is 10 then in the product the last two digits are fixed and these two digits are 7 and 5 and for the first two digits will be we'll take 8 from here and multiply this 8 with once again taking 8 and adding 2 to it so this will become 8 multiplied by 10 which is equal to 80 so the first two digits here will be 8 and 0 so the final answer will be 8075 that is A is the correct option. For better understanding of this trick let's take one more example let's see 65 multiplied by 75 so this will be equal to here also we can see that the digit at the units place is 5 and the difference between 75 and 65 is 10 so we will have four digits in the product and the last two digits will be fixed that is 7 and 5 and for the first two digits we'll take the first digit from here that is 6 and multiply this with 6 plus 2 so this will be equal to 6 multiplied by 8 that is equal to 48 so the first two digits here will be 4 and 8 Question number 2. Here we have to find the product of 77 and 73. Let's see how to solve this question. In 77 and 73 we can see that the sum of the units digit that is 7 and 3 is 10 and the digits at the tens place are same that is 7. So when such is the case then the product is equal to so here in the product we will have four digits last two digits will be product of the digits at the units place that is seven and three so this will be seven and three which will be equal to 21 so here we'll have two and one and for the first two digits we will take the digit at the tens place which is same so that will be 7 and 7 will be multiplied with once again taking 7 here and adding 1 to it so this will be equal to 7 multiplied by 8 equal to so the first two digits here will be 5 and 6 so our answer here will be 5621 that is option B for better understanding of this trick we can take one more example here we are multiplying 89 with 81 so this will be equal to once again here we will have four digits the last two digits will be the product of 9 and 1 so this will be 9 multiplied by 1 is equal to 9 so here we can have 0, 9 and for the first two digits we'll take the digit at the tens place which is same as 8 and multiply this with once again taking 8 plus 1 so this will be 8 multiplied by 9 that is equal to 72 so the two digits here will be 7 and 2 and the product is 7209. Question number 3. Here we have to find the square of 22,222. These are the options. Let's see what is the correct option. So here in this question we have to find 22,000 
222. That means 2 is repeated here 5 times and we have to find its square. So when such is the case, the rule is, first we write 2 here, 2 will remain same, raised to power 2, multiplied by, because we have 5 2's here, so inside the bracket we'll take 5 1's and raised to power 2. So this will be equal to square of 2 is 4 multiplied by square of 11,111. Here also we have a trick when we have all 1's and the number of 1's here is 5 and if we want to find its square then we will start with 1, go till 5, because we have 5 ones here, and then start reducing again from 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So this will be the square of 11,111. So when this is calculated, this comes as 4938172854. That means C is our correct option. For better understanding, we can take one more example of this type here. Let's make the number of twos this time as four. Once again, we are finding its square. So this will be equal to, here we will have two, square of two, multiplied with, and this time we are having four twos. So we will have four ones here, and square. So this will be equal to 4 multiplied with and as we are having 4 ones here so we'll start with 1, 2, 3, 4 start reducing 3, 2, 1 and this will be equal to so this will be the final answer. Question number 4 here we have to find the sum of this sequence in which we have all sevens and these are the options let's see which is the correct option rearranging the terms like this this is what we have to find in this question and this will be equal to we can take seven common and inside we'll have one plus one one plus three times one plus four times one plus five times one plus six times one and this will be equal to 7 multiplied by when we have such is the case when we are adding the digits containing ones and number of ones is increasing like this in first we have one one in second we have two ones then three then four then five then six then this is equal to starting from one two three four five six because we have six terms here so this will run up till six and this will be equal to this can be calculated as eight six four one nine two that means option a is the correct option for better understanding we can take one more example of this type so this will be equal to two multiplied with taking two common inside we will have one plus one one plus three times one plus 4 times 1 this will be equal to 2 multiplied with and since this is running up till 4 terms and all the terms have 1 so here the addition of these 4 terms will be starting from 1 2 3 4 so this will be equal to this that is 2468 let's do question number 5 here we have decimal numbers and we can see that all decimal numbers are comprising of six in the first number after decimal point we have five digits then four then three then two then one let's find the sum so this is what we have to find what we will do here is we'll take six common and inside the bracket we'll have 0 0.1 plus 0 0.11 plus 0. 3 times 1 plus 0 0.4 times 1 plus 0 0.5 times 1. So this will be equal to 6 
multiplied by zero point and the trick here is since we are having five terms here so this will start with five four three two one so we can see here that after the decimal point we start from five decrease by one each time and go till one so this is how we add decimals of this type where we have ones only and this will be equal to 3.25926 so D is the correct option for better understanding of this trick let's take one more example here we have four turns and the repeating digit here is 2 so this will be equal to this time we'll take 2 common inside we'll have 0 0.1 plus 0 0.11 plus 0 0.3 times 1 plus 0 0.4 times 1 so this will be equal to 2 multiplied with 0 point and as we are having 4 terms here so we'll start with 4 and make it 3 then 2 then 1 so this will be equal to 0 0.8642 this is the answer Let's do question number 6. In question number 6, we have to find the sum of these terms and these terms comprise of two types of terms. First type of terms are these, that is comprising of 3 only. And the number of 3's is increasing constantly. And then the second type of terms is these. Here we can see that they comprise of 7 only and number of 7's is decreasing constantly. We have to find the sum of these terms. Let's see the solution. Keep the terms containing 3 as separate. And keep the terms containing 7 as separate. So this will be 7 plus 7, 7 plus 3 times 7 plus 4 times 7. Now this will be equal to, from these 4 terms we can take 3 common. Inside the bracket we'll have 1 plus 1, 1 plus triple 1 plus 4 times 1. Plus, from these terms we can take 7 common and once again inside the bracket we'll have 1 plus 1, 1 plus triple 1 plus 4 times 1. And this is equal to 3 times. When such is the case, we have terms comprising of 1 only and number of 1s is increasing gradually. So in such a case, the sum is, we start from 1, 2, 3 and go right till 4 as we have 4 terms here. And here also we'll have 7 multiplying with here also we have four terms comprising of one only. So this will also start from one, two, three and go till four as we have four terms here. So this will be equal to one, two, three, four we can take common and inside the bracket we will have three plus seven. So this will be equal to one, two, three, four multiplied with 10 that is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 0. This is the answer. So option B is the correct option. Question number 7. Here we have to find square of 121. These are the options. Let's see which is the correct option. So what we have to find here is 121 whole square. This can be written as 100 plus 21 whole square and applying the formula of a plus b whole square this becomes 100 square plus b square will be 21 square plus 2ab will be twice 100 multiplied with 21 so this is equal to 10,000 plus 21 square is 441 plus this will be 4200 
and when calculated this comes as 14641 so the correct option is option D question number 8 here we have to find the square of 33,333 that means 3 is being repeated 5 times here these are the options let's solve this question for solving this question we can quickly find 33 square that we can find as 1089 and then we'll perform a small quick trick here we can see that 3 is being repeated 5 times so we'll write this 5 here from this 5 we'll subtract 1 so this will be 4 so what this means is that 33,333 whole square will be equal to this one here will be repeated four times as we are getting four here then we'll have a zero and eight will be repeated once again four times and then we'll have nine so we can see here that the correct answer is option C question number nine here we have to find the square of 9999 these are the options let's see what is the correct option for solving this question we'll quickly find 99 square which is equal to 9801 now we will look at the given term we can see here that 9 is being repeated 4 times so we'll write 4 here from 4 we'll subtract 1 that is 3 this means 9999 square will be equal to 9 will be repeated 3 times 8 1 time 0 3 times and 1 1 time now looking at the options we can see that B is the correct option let's do question number 10 here we have to find the square of 66,666 and these are the options. Let's see what is the correct option. For solving this question, we will quickly find 66 square that is equal to 4,356. So the trick which we will apply here is first we will count the number of sixes in the given number so we can see here that these are 5 in number so we will write the number of 6s here that is 5 subtract 1 from this so this will be 4 and now we can apply our trick then our given value will be because we have obtained the value here as 4 so we will have the first digit 4 times then we will have 3 ones and then we will have 5 also 4 times and finally we will have 6 that means A is the correct option here